Hello, I'm Wei Jia Wang at Shenyang University. I'm going to present your work entitled Pack Communication, How to Amortize the Cost of Set Channel Masking, joint with Chun Guo, Dr. Wang the VR Standard, Yu Yu, and Gaitong Kazir. Here I list what I'm going to present. Firstly, I will give the background and motivation of this work. Then I will present the pack communication, which is the main contribution. After that, I will give the performance of the ESS box application. Finally, I will give the conclusion and discuss the future works. Here I am going to use one slide to give a short introduction on the side channel attack. As we know, a cryptographic permit has to be implemented and will run in a given environment, which may have some side channel leakage such as power consumption, running time, and for information and so on. For example, we can implement a cryptography primitive on a chip that takes a plain text as input and output from cipher text. During the computation, an adversary may utilize the side channel leakage to recover the circuit key inside the chip by using some statistical analysis. Masking is one of the most investigated countermeasures against the set channel attack, where each circuit dependent sensitive variable is randomly encoded into several shares. Here I present more details about the masking technique. The masking scheme is made up of two ingredients. The first one is called encoder, and it randomizes each circuit variable CX here into a number of shares, such as any D shares are independent of X. So we can see that the encoder provides the security for the circuit variables such as a key. Besides, the cryptographic primitive usually is a computation from some input to some output. So we need to secure the computation, which requires the second ingredient, the private computation. Here I give an example. Say we want to compute x plus y times z, where the x, y, z are separate variables. What we can do is to transform each elemental operation into their correspondence, which must in the mask domain, uh, whose output and input are both shares. Uh, here addition is transformed to addition gadget, and modification is transform, uh, transformed to the modification gadget. After, after those Transformations, we can transform an unprotected computation to a protected one, ensuring that any D intermediates are independent of the input circuits. We call this kind of security as D privacy or D probing security. So, above is the basic idea of masking. As masking transforms each gate into the corresponding gadget, we are interested in the construction of different types of gadget. The first one is linear gadget that perform a linear operation in the shared form. As the randomization, randomization is homomorphic over linear functions, linear gadget can be correctly and securely constructed by applying linear functions on the shares of the same index, which we denote it as uh, the trivial implementation of a linear function. But it becomes more difficult for the nonlinear gadgets implementing nonlinear functions such as modification. In the following, I will introduce the well known ISW modification using an example with three shares. We introduce this ISW modification because it is quite famous in the community of side channel countermeasure. And our proposed scheme later is also based on the concept of it. The ISW Scheme was proposed by Yuvia Ishai, Amit Shahai, and David Wagner 17 years before. The input are two G shares corresponding to two coefficients, and the output are three shares. The gadget implements modification in the shared form. First of all, we calculate the output product of the input shares, resulting in a 3 times 3 matrix like this. We can see that summing the entries of this matrix is the circuit. Uh, is a separate output of the modification and summing the entries of each row is a separate out is a separate shares of, uh, of the output and 
to secure the process of summation, some random variables should be added in. Like here, 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 and here, here, here. And, and finally, this, uh, we can sum the entries of each row here, here, here to get the, to get the output. So the procedure of SW modification can be objected as out product, then refresh, and then compress. So this is the basic idea of the SW modification. So now we have the mask linear operation here. And we also have the mask modification here. So theoretically we can transform any cryptocurrency algorithm into the mask form. Of course, we may need to add some mask refresh in between the gadget to avoid improper propagation between adjacent gadget, but I prefer to omit them due to the lack of time. We can say that the masking countermeasure comes with some overhead. The overhead of linear operation is reasonable and seems hard to mitigate. The cost of uh, computation increases by a factor of the number of shares. But when it comes to the cost of the modification, the computational cost of ISW modification uh, increases by a factor of d square, and it requires d square by, by linear modifications. Besides, the modification also needs some uniformly distributed random variables, which is practically heavy to generate. So we are interested uh, in reducing the implementation overhead of mask nonlinear uh, operations, which is a challenge regarding uh, the practical usage of masking technique. And we consider both computational complexity and randomness complexity. A natural idea of doing this is to concentrate on designing more efficient gadgets. Many peer work devoted to such direction and tries to push the limit of gadget. Overall, this approach considers every gadget separately and we can call it as isolating approach. This type of approach considerably simplifies the situation and has achieved many good results. On the other hand, we note that cryptographic algorithm typically consists of ex excluding a basic function for many times in parallel. For example, the AES evaluates an Xbox for 16 times within each run. And at a higher level, many modes of operation are designed to support running several primitives in parallel. For example, the CTR mode encrypts uh, several blocks in parallel. So facing this situation, our work takes a global view and apply the optimization technique which aims at reducing the average complexity for uh, masking of several operations. The more uh, parallel modification, the lower average cost we will have. As a result, we propose a new construction named tech modification which computes uh, uh, multiple mask modifications in parallel. Uh, in the following, we denote the vector of shares related to a sensitive variable as sharing. Uh, so for instance, uh, the, boolean shares, uh, shares, uh, the boolean shares of a sensitive variable x, uh, I, uh, x hat 0 to x hat d, and we, we call this vector of d plus y shares as a share. But the number of parallel applications is, uh, is denoted as L here. So, as shown in the left, using the classical local approach, the two input uh, vectors, uh, input vectors are viewed as several pairs of sharings, and each of the pairs is possessed independently. In the contrast, um, as shown in the right, our packed modification considers modification over finite field with size q, uh, and it has two steps. Uh, first, each input vector is re-encoded. Uh, is uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, first, each input vector is re-encoded as a packed sharing using linear code. When the cube size 
uh, when the fuel size Q is great, uh, then the number of communications L plus the security order D. The size of the data is compressed from 2 times uh, D plus 1 times L to 2 times D plus L. Then, a communication over the pack share is calculated, resulting in a boolean sharing and the data size will return back to the D plus 1 times L. Here I give an example to illustrate the theoretical uh, performance gain for the mask 16 S boxes in one ES run using our approach. The ES S box was designed <laughs> as the universe in the finite field of F2 to the 8, which can be which can be decomposed into four modifications and several linear operations. Uh, when we use the isolating approach with the SW modification, uh, we need to implement the 16 S boxes separately, and it, it requires uh, 64 uh, times d square by linear modifications and 64 times d times d plus 1 divided by 2 random bytes. But when it comes to the case of our packed modifications, we can say that only 4 packed modifications with the number of mm, parallel modifications uh, L equals 16 are needed. Thanks to the amortization, it requires much smaller number by linear modifications and random bytes. In the following, I would introduce the construction of the two steps, packing and modifications. Note that the packing packed boolean sharers into smaller data size, uh, packed sharers and the modification perform the modification over packed sharing resulting back to the boolean sharers. The first part is the packing. Um, the input are uh, L boolean sharers, each of which consists of D plus 1 shares. And the output is a pack sharers uh, which L plus D shares. The basic idea is to transform each share which D plus 1 shares to another set of D plus 1 sh uh, shares each uh, subset the last D shares, the last D shares here are common in different sharers. So, for example, the first uh, sharing is transformed to the tilt one, tilt x one, which is the variable in final field, and you had one to you had D. And the second sharing is also transformed to uh, is trans is also transformed to tilt x two, which is a different variable in final field, and most importantly, uh, also. And most importantly, also you had one to you had D. We can see that on the right side, only the first shares corresponding to every input boolean shares are different, and the last D shares are identical. Clearly, it is not secure if the output are boolean shares, since, for example, if we know, uh, if we know the tilt x one and tilt x two, our adversary can element the mask and recover the XR of our first two sets of variables. Instead, uh, to keep this proven security in our construction, the output sharing is similar to the inner product masking. The sensitive variable is equal to the tilt X plus the inner product of U hat 1 to U hat D and a constant, uh, and a constant vector, whose value varies according to different boolean sharings. So, particularly, how to design the packing procedure? Here, I use one possible construction by an example with security order D equals 2 and the number of modifications L equals 3. Firstly, we generate a uniform um, random D times D matrix Q here. Then, we can get the column, uh, we can get the common vector uh, hat U if we sum uh, the columns of the matrix Q. After that, for each input boolean sharing, we calculate the vector here times the matrix Q, resulting in a vector of plus D. Of course, for different input boolean sharings, uh, we do different, we use the different constant vector. For example, here we use 1, 1, and for here we use 1, 3. 
and then we sum the vector to the last d shares of the input sharing, resulting in a vector of d shares. Then we can sum the element of shares and plus the first share, and the result should be the tilt x. It can be checked that the sensitive variable equals tilt x plus the inner product of hat, uh, hat u1 to hat ud and the constant vector. Now we have the packing. The next sub-gadget is multiplication over the pack sharing that takes two pack sharings and perform the multiplications in the mask domain. First of all, of all, as the output should be Boolean sharing, which means that each sharing corresponds to one sensitive variable. We consider each Boolean sharing separately, and here gives the procedure corresponding to the k's output Boolean sharing with k in 1 to L. The multiplication follows the paradigm of out duct then refraction uh, and then compression as the SW scheme. So first of all, we compute the output of input sharing of the input shares related to the related to the sensitive variables x, k and y, k, which are tilt x, k, tilt y, k, vector hat u and, ve uh, and the vector hat b. Say if we consider d equals 2, the output uh, should be this matrix. We can say that the lower right 2 times 2 matrix is the output of the vectors hat u and hat v. Then um, we can refresh this matrix by adding a random symmetric matrix to the lower right sub matrix of the output. Duct. We also replace the up right uh, row with the diagonal of random matrix. At last, we do a compression. So each row, we calculate the inner product of the last d uh, of the last d entries and the and the vector a k and the constant vector a k and then add the first entry. After that, we sum the first row here and here. Finally, we can get the output. It can be checked that the output is the Boolean sharing of the product of input sensitive variables. And the most important of the procedure is that it works with all the values of the k for the same random variables by which we can achieve the optimization. We showcase our new method on ESR by step, which consisting of 16 S boxes. The S boxes are implemented with security orders 4 and 8 based on the ARM Cortex M architecture. We can say that when the security order D equals 8, our implementation achieves a gain of up to 30% uh, in total speed and saves up to 16 random bytes uh, that the state of the art bit sliced implementation reported at Asia Group 2018. Uh, indeed, the code size of our implementation are larger, which is due to the loop unrolling of our implementation. And finally, I would like to give a short conclusion and discuss on the future work of our scheme. Um, our work focuses on the overhead of the side channel masking technique. We consider air masked operations which prove uh, security order D and reduce the average uh, randomness and the computation cost via the optimization technique. Regarding the future work, first of all, we think the hardware implementation might be more suitable to our approach. Since the future, uh, since the field modification and linear transformation can be optimized in bit level. Second, as we have proposed a new technique for the mask team, we think that combining our approach with the investigated formal method and automated tools for the masking proof should be 
quite a promising future work, because now our security proof is done by hand. It might be good uh, to give a more efficient text, uh, text communication if we can apply the uh, verified proofs. Uh, thirdly, since for now we only do abstract probing security which is necessary first step, we think it is interesting and an open problem to look at the concrete security for, uh, for the proposal. That's it. Thanks for your listening.